Okay? There is no reason to assume that power, the word power here, indicates physical manifestations of conversion. As seen from the citation above, they reason with them from the scriptures. The power to convert was found in the word and in the Holy Spirit. That's Paul's words, and in the Holy Spirit. The reason why I say it wasn't necessary to have this, these demonstrations of power to convert people is because if you go back in the book of Acts, I think it was chapter 13 or 14, uh, which we did over the past couple months, the um, uh, people in the synagogue, Paul went to the synagogue in Pisidia of Antioch and he told them the gospel. And the, there were people that were converted and there were people that were not converted. And it says that uh, the Lord was working through Paul and Barnabas with great signs and wonders, okay? And it never says in the Bible that people were converted by those signs and wonders. He was doing it among the disciples. He wasn't doing it among the Jews. They couldn't have cared. They rejected Jesus' signs and wonders one after another. Signs and wonders are not given to convert people to Christianity. If people would understand that, we wouldn't have all of the teachings that we do in the church today. They were never intended for that purpose. They were there to confirm the work of the apostles. That is what they were for. Okay, so if you're heading to a church that has signs and wonders, and that is converting people, it's a false church. That's never something you're going to see in the Bible. As a matter of fact, it's exactly the opposite of what the Bible presents again and again and again. People are converted by hearing the word and putting their faith in Jesus Christ, and there is no other way, no other way to be converted than the way that God has laid down in his word. He says that's the way he's going to do it, then that's the way it's going to be. Okay, so remember that when people say, I was in a church and they had signs and wonders and people were converting by the thousands. It's not true, okay? Um, uh, so there is, a, yes, and power and the Holy Spirit. The Spirit is the source of the word, and he is the one who makes the word understandable to those who hear it, converting them and sealing them when the word is believed. That's the job of the Spirit. There are all kinds of jobs of the Spirit, but those are two of the uh, jobs of the Spirit. When a person believes, that person is converted, meaning he is sealed with the Holy Spirit, Ephesians 1, 13 and 14. After belief, it's a guaranteed thing, and then from there, if the person is willing to pursue the Word, that person will grow in the Word. The more attentiveness they apply to the Word, the more time they spend in the Word, the more they talk to the Lord about His Word, the more they are going to have the word revealed to them. But it is the Spirit's job to illuminate the word that has been given, God's word. The Spirit gave the word. The word is intended to be understood. It's not intended to be misunderstood. And so that is what the Spirit does. This conversion is a demonstration of the Spirit. When a person sees the complete change in another, that person will realize that it was more than just a personal choice but a truly miraculous event.